And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Colonel Bleach's arrival on Earth. Colonel Bleach. Interplanetary intelligence agent for the planet Futura had completed another dangerous mission. That arch criminal, Dr. Destructo, had at last been captured and was at this very moment a prisoner in a space bubble securely anchored in the outer ring of the planet Saturn. And now the Futuran High Command had ordered Colonel Bleep on a new assignment, a top secret mission to investigate reports of disturbances on worlds of outer space, the distant planet Earth in particular, to observe its places, people, and customs. It was therefore only a few days later that the giant telescope at Mount Palomar Observatory first gave news to people of Earth of Colonel Bleep's approach. The powerful lenses focused on this curious visitor from the outer world as he flashed past the planets Uranus and Neptune and then rapidly span the empty space towards our own planet, Earth. Actually, the people of Futura had only recently become interested in Earth. To Futurans, the Earth was only a small planet revolving around the minor sun of the Milky Way galaxy, and hardly worth investigation under ordinary circumstances. However, on July 16, 1945, they had observed what appeared to be an atomic explosion on the Earth planet. As time went on, Futuran futonic radar scopes recorded an increase in the number and fury of these explosions. And in the Earth's stratosphere, even the rocket trails of guided missiles were observed. To Futuran, these were signs of trouble. Trouble in space. And trouble anywhere in space is the concern of the Futura Interplanetary High Command. And so, Colonel Bleep has arrived. <laughs> And the exciting adventures of his new secret mission are about to begin. With Colonel Bleep are two unusual companions to share his exciting adventures. First, there is Squeak, a happy-go-lucky boy of the present, very much like you. Except that Squeak is a puppet and cannot speak a single word. Because, as you all know, a puppet cannot talk for himself. But Squeak is filled with curiosity, as all boys are. And you all know the trouble curiosity can often bring about. Second, there is Scratch, an expert on the past, who, like other cavemen, should really have become extinct several thousand years ago. But Scratch fell asleep. And slept right through the evolution of man, and didn't wake up until that first atomic explosion. Blew him right out of the past and into the present. Scratch, like most cavemen, is sometimes a trifle slow at catching on. But when danger threatens, Bleep and Squeak can depend on quick action from Scratch and his trusty club. As they shall be. So here they are, three very strange companions. Colonel Bleep <laughs> of the future. Squeak of the present. And Scratch of the distant past. Together they travel up, down, backwards or forwards in distant orange time. Together they face danger and death as they fight to maintain right and justice throughout the vast galaxies of the world.